I have decided to start my day at 4.30 a.m. Now, this is not how I was living my life in 2019. And I did try it out for a short period of time, but it wasn't something that really stuck. But looking into what type of, you know, business plan I was gonna have going into 2020 and all of the things that I wanted to accomplish, especially how large of the goals are that me and Alex have, I took into account that 4.30 kind of seemed necessary in order to keep the sanity and keep the productivity at a high level. So what this has been looking like is me waking up in the morning and trying to get on the Peloton. More often than not, I kind of just go straight into creative work. And that can be anything from developing a new product for Design for Realtors or uh, creating something on Canva, editing videos, or like this morning, I was actually editing some listing photos that I wasn't able to finish on Sunday. From there, I'll go into things like breakfast and getting ready for the day. And then from there, I head into my call block, which is for prospecting, where I'll call FISBOs, expireds, pre-foreclosures for rent by owners and things like that, and kind of just run through those lists. After that, I head into the office and you know, we do what we do in the office, whether it's helping buyers and sellers through appointments or scheduling appointments, showings, um, having team meetings, marketing meetings, content shoots and things like that. Today, I actually had a couple of marketing meetings. So those are always fun because it gives us a chance to really break down personal branding and business branding for the agents and help them with their marketing campaigns and advertising campaigns. So that was super cool. And it actually turned out that everyone in the office was wearing a uh, design for realtors apparel, which was cool. It's actually not something that we, we give out. So the fact that our uh, team really believes in the product was something that was, was awesome to see in the office. But that's my day in a nutshell. I pretty much end at 5 p.m. And then from there, it's about five o'clock to 9.30 where I've got that free space where I can do things like dinner, spend time with family, have free time, and um, then get ready for bed at 9.30 p.m. and do it all over again and pray that I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> so I have actually been documenting this whole 4.30 a.m. journey through my Instagram stories and more recently sharing what my sleep cycles have been looking like. So uh, if you wanna see that, just um, keep following.